Hey YouTube, Audi Triple Five here, and tomorrow I'm going for the metal intermediate course to get my P's. So it's run by GIO, I believe, the insurance company, or they subsidise it, and it's uh, linked with MVR and everything like that. So the intermediate course is the course you do after you've been on your L's for at least six months and are ready to go to your P license. So I'll be doing that tomorrow. The intermediate course has a license outcome, as I said before, you get your P's. There's one that you can do uh, between the beginner metal course and this intermediate one. It's a transitional, so if you're really struggling on the road and you want that extra confidence, that's the course to do. But I've been riding the motorcycle every single day pretty much since I got my L's. So I think I'll be all right without doing the transitional and just going straight to the intermittent course. The transitional one doesn't have a license outcome or anything, so it's just for added skills. The course costs about, I think it was like $120, something like that, or 110, and it just goes for one day. And it starts at eight o'clock. So it's the morning now, and I'm on my way to do the metal transitional course. So I'm just rocking up now. This is where you do your metal course. It's at the Darwin Speedway. It's your first left after the dip. Yeah, it's a beautiful morning. It's almost eight o'clock, and the sun's not pounding out like it usually would. It's beautiful. Look at that view. And that's where you do your, your metal course, there's like that beginner track. Once you get the pressure on the pads and it squishes down a bit, you can you could probably and I don't want to challenge you or anything, but you could probably stop that bike two or three bike lengths further back. True. Just with controlled pressure. Yeah. Okay, double tap, hit check, go. So we're doing our some first city ride as a group. And we're gonna go in stagger formation, go to the coffee shop. You got the food in the front on one of the instructor's bikes, yeah, it's an instructor. They're being WGS 650 I think they are. And same with the last bike, so they're just observing how we go. You got all the guys behind. It's pretty cool, convoy. This will be um, like the first group ride a lot of these riders would have been on. I've been on a few. So there's nothing new, but I remember the first time I did a formation and you, you get really nervous and you think the other bike's going to hit you or whatever, but you just pay attention to what the other bikes are doing and if you all keep where you should be on the road, then nine times out of ten you're not going to have any dramas. And if you're riding in a group, the intercom system works brilliantly. I use the Centre 20S and I took it off for this ride because I was like, oh, are you allowed to have them? Are they illegal to have it on your helmet? I lost my camera on, but I took it off last night. And one of the other riders has got a Center 20, so um, I should have just left it on. I could have, I could have been connecting to her. It would have been pretty funny. This is why they're causing the intercoms, eh? So we're going to um, NT Motorcycles, just on the other side here, to. Um, get a coffee. This is the NT Motorcycle Centre, they have heaps of motorcycles. They used to have um, higher sung stuff there, but they don't do them anymore. Probably just get broken down. Check out all the bikes.
it might be in second. So we've been split up with our group. This, this guy here had a bit of drama getting through the traffic lights and he was in second gear. But we'll catch up to him. Yeah, do it. Yeah. <laughs> What's an indicator? thing too because it's so light. I had no dramas going from my massive motorcycle to this little motorcycle. No dramas at all doing slow maneuvering. It just goes to show you that your technique can be used on whatever you ride as long as you've got good technique. Yeah it's pretty fun just cutting around doing some laps and the assessors are just riding around, or the instructors, just to make sure that we do our head checks and are competent on the road. And then this is the last thing, basically. We just lap around here for 20 minutes or so. Yeah, it's actually, it's pretty good. And it's a quiet area, but there's still cars every now and then coming, pulling out and doing weird things, like not indicating or checking head checks, so <laughs> keep you on your toes. I've found the course is all right, it's really, I don't know, I probably didn't really get much out of this but it is good to have done it and you know if I've only learned a couple of things then or reinforced already what I know like make sure I always do head checks and everything then yeah it's, it's definitely worth it to save your life and I think it was an extra $18 as opposed to the normal fee if you're just going to rock up to the registry office motor register or MVR and book it through them so why not do the course I reckon and you get to ride around with these pretty sick pretty um sweet Hondas 250s I had the option to ride my bike but I chose to ride this because one um, my bike is a lot bigger and I was, I, I would prefer to do it on this because it seems a lot lighter for the slow speed maneuvers. Um, and the second reason I didn't want to use my bike was the exhaust is extremely hot. And cruising around I would be baking to be honest with that exhaust. And there's a lot of stopping and starting. So if you had the option to do this course or um, just rock up on the day and do the post um, practical or whatever it is, it's up to you. If you have a bit of experience in riding, I think you probably find this course targeted too simple. Um, but if you didn't really do much between getting your license and when you're going now for your P's, or you're still unsure, then this is perfect for you because you can get one-on-one -on -one coaching. Well, that wraps up this video guys. I'll see you guys next Tuesday. Keep safe out there on the roads. And get your rider awareness. Be aware. Stay alive on the road. I'll see you guys next time. Laters.